Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. How about this? The Snow Queen and the Troll. Yeah, that one. play the Snow Queen. She is, I wouldn't say she's evil, but she is definitely out for herself in this show. She um, captures a boy named Kai and takes him away to her ice palace. And she wants him to solve the riddle of eternity so she can have all of the power in the universe. Count all the snowflakes in the world. <laughs> Will you do this for me? When I came out on stage a few times, I heard some Elsas. There are similarities, but we are definitely more based off the Hans Christian Andersen book than anything. But when, we, um, when I actually got to meet the kids, none of them said anything about Frozen. They were all very excited. They're like, it's so nice to meet you, Snow Queen. My favorite moment is definitely my first entrance because it is a blackout and then the lights are up and the kids go oh <gasps> because <laughs> they're waiting for the snow queen they're talking about her and then finally here she is this show has so many different styles of singing it, it is challenging but it's kind of exciting and it's different take than on frozen and some of the songs are really catchy so it's cool I think there's a lot of lessons from this story. One of the biggest ones which you'll see is that love conquers all. And I think for kids, a really good lesson is to never give up on your friends. part is the song Flying. It's the end of Act One. It's kind of like an upbeat number where she meets this crow who is pretty funny. Nah, I'm not afraid of the Snow Queen. I'd like to see her try and use that icy breath on me. I catch her, put her in a pot, and throw her on the stove. <laughs> Kai has a big transformation when he's taken in by the Snow Queen. Let's play! I can't. I'm too busy. You're not doing anything but standing and staring at nothing. He starts picturing the perfect world and it's all very angular and straightforward and black and white and um, Gerda then has to come in and try and save the day. Kai! 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 <laughs> the crow is my favorite moment. It's, the costume is really cool and the funny accent is great to joke around with. What's going on in the show is very heavy in theory, but we have to try to keep it light. So I'm trying to make each character a little different, a little funny. Um, you know, it's definitely not Disney-fied. It's still a little, it's still a little dark. You have all the strength you need. Just breathe. I like singing that wise woman song at the end of the show. It's called Breathe, and it's very centered and grounded and that's what I'm trying to to tell Gerda to be so that she can face her fears. Well, I am loyalty and courage. I am kindness and gentleness. And I am beauty and loveliness. With the exception of uh, Gerda, we all play at least three parts. I play a flower, I play the river, um, and I play a bird. I also play uh, the reindeer at the end of the show. Since you helped me when you didn't have to, I will help you. At its heart, it's a lesson about growing up. And it's a lesson about uh, learning to trust yourself and trust your instinct and to look out for your friends. Dance party! Better. 